Hey guys, Joshua here with SaltyScales.com. Um, I know many of you, I, I sent out a video uh, last week asking for suggestions, for video suggestions. And many of you requested um, a video on sheep's head fishing and sheep's head rigs. Um, so what I thought I would do, since it is a great time of year, obviously, to talk about the sheep's head. I've actually been seeing them roam the flats quite frequently. And that's usually my first sign that they're coming uh, in great quantities. Uh, in great numbers and usually after that first cold front of the year you'll start seeing the influx so let's go ahead and get to it and I'll show you how to uh, rig for sheep's head or at least the most effective rig that I've encountered what I like is a light uh, le uh, well I should say a light line um, so 10 pound test braid and I like braid for my main line due to the fact that it's super sensitive and if any of you um, ever fish for sheep's head then you know that they are very finicky and they their subtle bite uh, can make it quite frustrating uh, for you to fish for. So what I do is I tie, I use a 20 pound monofilament leader and I tie my 10 pound braid directly to my monofilament leader using a uni knot as you can see here. Then I use typically about two feet of the mono leader and you want to use mono leader guys because it's abrasion resistant uh, I mean you could go right to the uh, power pro but where I fish and uh, where most sheep's head are going to hang around uh, it's going to involve a lot of oysters a lot of sharp um, edges for for the line to be cut so braid isn't abrasion resistant if it comes in contact with the oyster it's just going to slice it so the mono is definitely going to be your friend now I like to use the kiss rule uh, keep it simple stupid if you haven't ever heard of it, uh, it's very simple uh, rig. So like I said, I got the mono leader here. And depending on the crab or the oyster that I'm using, it's going to be a one aught or number one owner hook. And these are the SSW uh, all-purpose bait hooks. So they're very um, durable and they're extremely sharp, chemically sharpened. The next thing I use, I, I've been fishing a lot in the river. And, and fast flowing current so the tension on the rig is there's usually always tension on my line so I like to use a split shot just enough to get it down into that strike zone so all you have to do is take your split shot and depending on like I said the current of the water and the depth all you would do is take your split shot and cinch it right onto the leader here right below your actual knot Okay, just like so. Then what I like to do is either my number one or my one eye owner hook. I like to tie that on there with a simple cinch knot. I don't even use a loop knot for these because um, you know your crab, once you hook it, you're not going to get too much movement. So tie your knot on with a simple cinch knot. Use saliva. That way it cinches down appropriately and pull it tight and of course trim the tags. And now, so you have your hook, then you have your approximately two feet of 20 pound mono and you have your split shot right below your knot. So. That's all it really takes. And another thing that you could use is the basic slip sinker rig. Um, but this is what I found to be the most effective in, especially in the Tampa Bay area. So if you guys have any questions or concerns, uh, don't hesitate to post on the YouTube page or go to saltyscales.com. Uh, we appreciate your feedback and we'll see you on the water.